only a video just a video um so today i'm doing a q a video i know um a lot of people have been asking me to do one of these so I'm going to do one and I'm going to answer y'all questions. So whatever y'all asking, I'm answering. You feel me? Okay, so I download this app called YOLO. Basically, you attach to your Snapchat. And, and what I put in there, I was like, okay, just ask me questions for a Q&A video for YouTube. And you guys did that, so thank you very much. Oh, yeah, and all of these are anonymous, so I don't know who set these or who they are, but... Your questions are going to be answered, so just tune into the video. Click that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and then you'll be... I don't know. Drum roll. <laughs> okay, baby girl, we gotta get together. Okay, so the first question is, have I met any celebrities, and if so, how many? So, celebrities, as far as, like, dance world celebrities I met some like in the dance industry but also like I met celebrities that are like Instagram famous youtubers I met youtubers um I have actually met um I met Sage the Gemini I was at a party with all these famous Instagram people dancers I was at a party I met Sage the Gemini I met um why can I not think of his name why can I what is his name? Yeah, it was Lil, Lil Yachty. I met him. Lil Boat, Lil Boat, Lil Boat. Yeah, it was him. Um, I actually met him at the BET Experience. And at the BET Experience, that's also where I met like a lot of us. Like the YouTubers. Like, So there's a variety of celebrities. But like Lil Yachty and Sage the Gemini, like those are like the musically celebrities that I met like on the music rapping type side and then like a lot of youtubers like I just seen like question number two second freaking question yes what is one city you would move to if you didn't have to pay for a month LA hands down LA I love LA I go to LA a lot I'm actually finna be going again in October but um I love LA I love to dance there and there's a it's like the what do they call it? The land of opportunities or something like that? Like you get a lot of opportunities out there, especially if like entertainment industry. I love LA. Like you can do anything. It's like so many opportunities. LA, if I can move out there for free for a month, it is expensive down there too. So if I can live there for free, LA, that's what it would be. Um, This one says, what college are you going to? Um, so this will be for another video because this is kind of a question that I have been asked before but right now I, I'm not in college like um I graduated high school and while I graduated high school I graduated my associates but I'm gonna do a story time on that so y'all know but right now I am not in school I do not go to college and I do not attend any university or college right now question them bo 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 your mother I'm just kidding <laughs> They get it, they get it. What it say? What it geek 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 ge yeah, I really want to move to LA. And so question number four says, What made you want to start your own dance business? So if you don't already know, um I have my own dance team down here where I live in Iowa called SSW Dance. And it ranges from like I have like itty, itty bitty ones, my youngest is four and my oldest is um seventeen. What was the question? what made you want to start your own dance business okay so the reason how i knew i wanted to own my own business is because one day my mom got a call because i okay that's how it ties into it so when i used to dance into the chicago with the chicago bulls as a bulls kid like i was 12 years old and i was one of the little dancers that used to go on court for either halftime or timeouts and we used to come out and do a dancer team for the chicago bulls like the actual nba team yes yes yes, yes. it was amazing oh and then i did meet celebrities in basketball too like d rose all them so yeah so celebrity that goes back to the other question but whatever so this lady had called my mom she was like hey because i had a facebook page and my mom would just post stuff on it okay but anyway my mom my mom got received a phone call and was like hey like can your daughter teach my daughter how to dance type situation and she had two daughters actually my mom was like well you know she's only 12 years old right like she's 12 years old like you still want her to teach but like they seen that i could dance because my mom would post all my dance videos and i had this fan page called called snw 
and um so she post on my dance page she's like yeah like let's do it and so from there then my mom started posting and posting on that fan page called SNSW which is now called SNSW dance on Facebook so go follow that SNSW dance on Facebook and so people start seeing oh this girl can actually teach people this girl can actually really dance and so my mom started promoting it like as since starting classes this and that da da and remember i was 12 years old but i did good i really did good i remember my first class i was so nervous but that's what i realized i wanted to start my own business when i start teaching people downstairs in my basement next question is how did i start dancing okay this is a funny story okay so when i was younger believe it or not um I was so shy like I did not talk I did not have a person that like I did not talk to anybody the only people I talked to was probably my parents my brother barely if that um my cousin Messiah and my auntie promise my auntie promise is the probably person that I was really really close to and she used to make up dances in her room and then I used to follow her so like she would just be doing steps and I just follow her and then we start making up routines together and I was like and then from there I was like okay she wanted me to be in this talent show but I was shy like y'all gotta remember I was shy I didn't want to be in it I'm like no 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 but she's like no like you can dance like you need to be in the talent show and from then like when I first did my first talent show and I seen all these people screaming my name I'm like oh my god I want to be a dancer oh my gosh this is so am amazing like the so basically the reaction from the audience and basically she made me knew that I want to dance because I was so shy and then now I'm not but yeah that's how I knew I wanted to dance she put me in a talent show. I didn't really want to do it, but then I ended up doing it and I love dance forever. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so one thing is how long have I been dancing? So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I'm about to be 18. So like, I've been dancing for like nine years, but I didn't start really, really like training in dance, like getting like, trying to get super good. I didn't really start training, training until like I was like, but I've been training, training for like three, three years, three, four years, like been like really going places like out of town to train type situation. Okay, next question. It was like, why do you love, it was like, why do you love Jenna and why is she your bestie? First of all, little do y'all know I hate Jenna. I don't like her, never would like her, never had like her. It's all been fake love. Fake, 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 fake. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No. I love Jenna. That is why she is my best friend. I have another best friend, Alexis. I have two best friends, Alexis and Jenna. But this question goes to Jenna, which Alexis will be like, why are they asking about her? This and that, da, 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 da. I'm your best friend too. That's the type of friend she is. But since this question specifically asked about Jenna, why do I love her and why is that my best friend? Is because honestly, she has positive vibes only and she helps me through anything and she keeps me on track and she's a very cool person to be around and she's very nice and sweet and the sweetest person the most caring person ever and that's why i love her and that's on a period okay that's why she is my bestie for the resty ain't no switching up next question it says what is my goal in life okay so i'm gonna do a story time about this too but um i know some of you guys follow me on instagram at underscore ssw if you follow me on instagram you seen as of lately i've been posting like raps and everything like that so my end goal in life is i want to be an entertainer so i want to rap like on the music side of entertainment i like want to rap be a famous rapper and you know be selling out studios and stadiums that's my end goal in life but i love to dance so that's why i am dancing now and then i like i rap and stuff too so yeah but my end goal is i want to be an entertainer with rapping and stuff like that and i also want to have my own dance convention too so yeah i want to have my own dance convention and i want to rap and i still want to go and train and dance even though that might be kind of hard because when you're like if i do become famous it might be hard for me just to walk in somewhere and not be like oh my god da, da. but who, who knows who knows but that's what i want to be that's what i want to be and i'm gonna do a story time about that okay so one question is like yo how did you, <laughs> they just say yo um yo how do you stay on top of literally everything like you manage your bonds with people your dancing career and your grades how okay so right now i just got i graduated school um well, school's already started, but I graduated last year, like, how many months has been? Like, five months ago, four months ago, three months ago. How do, how do I manage, how did I manage, like, school with my grades and everything and my bonds with people, with dancing? 
I feel like the first thing, okay, let's talk about the friend part. You have to have good friends. Your friends have, you have to have supportive friends and like you have to let that, like if your friends know what you want to be and what you want to do, like even though like sometimes I'm so busy where I can't hang out with my friends, but I make time for them. Like you can always make time for anything. So like I make time for my friends, and but sometimes I do get busy where I can't like hang out every weekend or something like that when I was in school, but they understood that and they knew. So if you have friends that are so understanding, that shouldn't be a problem. Um, with the grades and managing, I feel like, um, like with dancing, managing, uh, I have to make up choreo, choreo for class. I have to make sure I have these dances right for competition. Like when I go out of town and I dance, how did I, how did I manage that with school? It's just, you, it was really late, late nights of studying. I used to be up to like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. studying, getting all my work done because I had to, you know, you just have to find that balance, you know. So I'll be up really late and wake up really early. So that's just how it is. You just got to do it and know you can do it. Like you can do anything you put your mind to. Like God will never put too much on your plate if you couldn't handle it. So anything that's thrown at you, you can handle it no matter what. And then honestly, with the bonding with people and everything, you just honestly just have to find good people in your life and good friends that will help you through anything, you know. So Also, my parents help me manage a lot of things like... So like when my dancing and stuff, they they managed. Okay, as as you got like they did all the outlining in the blueprint. I just had to show up. Okay, as since you got this, you need to make up a dance for this. You're going to Chicago this weekend. Next weekend you're in uh, Kansas. Next weekend you're going to Texas. Then you're in Miami. So you got to make sure you grab your work from school. This and that da, da da da. So they gave me a blueprint and an outline. I just had to go through with it, you know. And then sometimes it does take an out. And then I had dance practice like almost every morning. I had to wake up at 6 a.m. Three days out of five, out of the five days a week because I had dance team uh, when I danced for North. So it's like I might not go to sleep till 2, 2 a.m. And I only get four hours of sleep because I have to wake back, back up again. But, you know, you you get used to it and um, everything would just fall in place naturally, you know. Somebody asked me why am I never on IG. Um, I have been lately, so go check it out. Underscore SSW. <laughs> I have been as of lately. I have been. It says, what is your what is your zodiac sign? So I'm a Virgo. Let's go. Virgo season. Period. But that'll be the end of this video. And I'll wrap up this banger banger. Ah, oh, I almost choked. Bye.